Hello everyone, Rochelle here, and I'm back to share with you all some more crochet stuff. This is going to be a great video about all the stuff that I've bought and made, and of course you know I've bought stuff because that's just what I do. So, I have some finished projects for you all, and also I have some works in progress. And I have a bunch of yarn to share with you all that I have newly acquired. Okay, so... Let's get started with the works in progress first, and we're going to start with the crochet project. Now, as you all know, I love the Coraline Wine in the Country shawl. It was first introduced to me um, on by Wilson's 123 channel, and she has a wonderful video tutorial on that shawl, and I will leave a link in the description box below as to where you can actually find the written pattern, which is also awesome as well. Okay, so the yarn that I'm using is Red Heart Super Sport. This was my first time ever using this yarn. As you all know, I love my four ply worsted weight yarn, but this is three ply sport weight yarn. And it has been a joy to work with. Um, this was some yarn that was given to me by a really good friend. And the color is called Iris. Mmm. Okay. So here is the shawl. Isn't that beautiful? You all know I love my purple. But it is a lovely triangle shawl. Really nice. And the hook that I, that I used, or am using, for this project is a size I 5.5 millimeter hook. And of course I'm using my favorite bamboo hooks. But yes, 5.5 millimeter eye hook. And I hope to be finished with it pretty soon. Like, it is a really fast crochet project. Um, it's great for, you know, quick gift giving. It's a really, really nice project. So I'm enjoying that. And like I said, I hope to be done with it soon. Okay, so moving along to my next project. This is a knitting works in progress. And the yarn that I am using is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in their sea spray color. That's what I'm using. That's what the label looks like. And uh, it is 100% acrylic. It is super, super, super soft. And the needles that I am using are the Knitter's Pride Carbons needles. And it's a size 8 five millimeter um, knitting needle. I keep wanting to say crochet hook, but it is a US 8 five millimeter knitting needle, circular knitting needle with a 24 inch cable. And let me show you all the project. Oh, let me show you, let me tell you what the name of the project is. It is the Keeping It Simple Stockinette Cowl. And I will leave a link in the description box below as to where you can find that pattern. So, here it is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Those colors are just wonderful. Oops, I got it on the wrong, well, yeah, here we go. But as you can see, it's got garter, and then it's got some stockinette down the middle. And it's lovely, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's not too much of a curl on the end, because you know how stockinette can be. But I am absolutely enjoying this. And I hope to have it finished very soon. It's another quick knitting project. Knitting projects to me aren't quick at all, but... To be knitting, this is pretty quick. And um, as I had mentioned before, I am using a size US 8 5mm knitting needle. These are my carbons, and they're absolutely great. I have noticed one thing about carbons and needles is that there is a little bit of, I don't know, 
like it's a little rigid right there at the join and I was talking to my yarn lady and it seems that that's a common issue so let me know you know for you all out there that use the carbons knitting needles is there like a little rough spot right there where the join is I know you can't see it but just right there but I mean it's really not that big of a deal um they're absolutely great I mean the the yarn just slides off of them really really well and like you know I love my chagu needles but these are right up underneath my chagu needles they are excellent they really really are and uh, this is going to be a one skein project it's five ounces and so I will use the entire five ounces to make this project all right so I guess we shall go into works in progress now oh no wait those are all my works in progress okay I guess we will go to finish objects now all right so let's get started so I dropped something all right so let's get started with the finished objects all right now I have made I have finished a Coraline shawl as I just showed you all I'm obsessed with this shawl this is a project that I am making for myself and here it is and I'm sure some of you have seen it on Instagram already Ta -da! this one is my my mine I am finished I absolutely love it and the hook size that I use to make my Coraline shawls are a size J which is a six millimeter hook but yes here it is and it's hard to get it all in one frame so I'm going to insert another clip here just to show you all some sev several different ways that I like to wear my Coraline shawl and I'll be right back. I absolutely love the way it turned out and there's so many different ways that you can wear this. You can wear it the traditional way or you can wear it my favorite way which is the handkerchief style. love that this is my favorite way to wear my triangle scarves and it keeps your chest warm because it is super cold outside as you all know and then if you want to get fancy move it to one side like so I also like to wear it like this so yeah really like how it turned out I've got the two different colors here that blend very well together. And this section here is just um, a full skein of the, let's see, this is the full skein of the Songbird, Songbird Stripe, five ounces. And then the outline of it here is done in the Hobby Lobby purple. Okay, so you all just saw the different ways that I like to wear my Coraline shawl. And um, this was a great stash buster project. I had some Hobby Lobby yarn, different colors lying around. And so I put those two together. And yeah, it looks great. Now, this is unblocked. I will probably block it this afternoon so yeah if you think this is big it's going to get even bigger which is going to be awesome I'm really excited about it so I will probably block this this afternoon okay moving on to my next finished project it is another crochet project as you all know I am doing the 2016 uh, Ugly Blanket Challenge started by Ming Ma One here on YouTube. I do believe she's already finished her um, her blanket, which is super awesome. You should pop over to her videos and, and check it out. Um, 
but yeah so each month you will do a 12 by 12 inch square of just using plain scrap yarn and um, the one I'm going to show you now is actually my November square because I've been slacking and I have not done my December square yet hopefully I will get that done this week and uh, hopefully I can start joining all of the squares I hope to have it done by the 1st of January but we'll see because I I'm not quite sure what yarn I'm going to use to border each square I haven't even done the borders yet because I was kind of trying to debate do I want borders or do I not want to border on my squares but I think to make it look a little cohesive um, to kind of join all the ugliness <laughs> together I think I will use a border but we'll see and the hook size that I'm using for all of my squares is a size H which is a 5.00 millimeter hook that's the hook so here it is here is my ugly blanket square for November and of course the ends are not weaved in and that's another reason why I think I will probably finish the um, the blanket in January because I still have to weave in all of the ends to these. I do have a little bit of a vacation break coming up from work so maybe I'll you know knock this blanket out before the before the new year. But this is November. We've got a lot going on. Some of the yarn you might recognize from previous projects that I've had. But yeah this was actually not so bad. It kind of has a fall winter type of vibe to it. I know it's ugly but hey it's gonna look great it's gonna look great now the last finished project that I have to share with you all is actually a knitting project I was recently on vacation in Florida and I will tell you all more about that trip maybe in my next video because I want to get to the other stuff I want to share with you all today but I was down in Orlando Florida had a super awesome time um with my family with my in-laws i had an awesome awesome time we were in florida um yeah orlando tampa bay we visited clearwater which has the most beautiful white sand i've ever seen and uh yeah so anyway while i was there i um took some projects with me and the project that i took was the keeping it simple stock and neck cow and the needle size that I used let's see did I use yeah the needle size that I used for this was the US 10 which is a six millimeter hook ah six millimeter knitting needle <laughs> yeah but these are my knitters pride dreams and let me tell you they are a dream to work with and they are a 24 inch cable so let me show you all let's see do I still have I thought I had the yarn label with me but I guess I don't anyway I will tell you all what the name of the yarn is it is Cascade Anthem and uh, yeah so it's Cascade Anthem yarn and uh, I will share some more information with you all about that somewhere around this area I'll put some information of more about this yarn but it is a beautiful soft acrylic yarn Cascade might be my new favorite acrylic yarn I really really like them I've got to get some more Cascade Anthem yarn it's just awesome but here is the project look at that color doesn't it make you think of sherbet but here it is and there's that beautiful stockinette and garter stitch that I really enjoy and I'll just try it on real quick if I can get over my hair look at that that is just going to be so great and warm to wear. I haven't worn it out yet, but I can't wait to wear it out. So, 
I was so happy to finish this. I was uh, in the room in Florida and I, you know, could not sleep. So I stayed up till like four o'clock finishing, four in the morning finishing this because I just wanted to finish it. And yeah, this is, I have made a knitted scarf before, but this is my first knitted cowl and I really, really enjoy it. It's super nice. So yeah, here it is. All right, so those were all my works in progress and my finished projects. And so now I'm gonna show you all my new yarn that I have purchased. Whoopsie, before I show you all that new yarn that I have purchased, I totally forgot to show you all my last finished project. It is a loom knitted project that I want to share with you all. But before I do that, I found the label to my um, my Cascade yarn. Here it is. Cascade Anthem. I really would recommend this yarn. It is super, super soft. And I use one skein of this. There's not a color. It just says color number 23. Um, but it's 100% acrylic. And one skein is 186 yards, 170 meters. It is um, 100 gram ball, 3.5 ounces. So yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. And um, yeah, really enjoying it. And you may wonder why I decided to switch up needle sizes between the um, like with this one, I used a size 10 millimeter knitting needle because that's what the pattern called for. But I was reading the label and it recommended a size 8 millimeter. So that's why I decided to try a size 8 millimeter with this one here. So anyway, let's get on to this finished project that I almost forgot about. It is a loom knitting project. And the yarn that I used was Hobby Lobby, I Love This Chunky, and they're metallics. And the color is Winter Spark. I used one skein of this, which is 104 yards, 94 meters. And this yarn is mainly acrylic. As you can see here, it's 96% acrylic and 4% metallic. The project that I finished was a hat, but if you all go back to my later videos, you will see that um, I had made a scarf for this. Well, yeah, I made a scarf out of this exact yarn um, a while ago. And what I used to make this hat was a 41 peg loom knitting loom. And of course it's purple, awesome. All right. So here is the hat. I used Crafting with Claudie's video. She is awesome. She's a great loom knitting teacher. Um, I made it a little longer than what she did in her video because I wanted it to have a bit of a slouch to it. But yeah, here is the hat. And here is the matching scarf. So, that's that, or I could wear it my usual way, like this, and then we have the matching hat. Now, I have big hair, so this is going to look a little crazy, but got a little bit of a slouch in the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, looking good. I like it a lot. I feel like keeping it on, but I'm not. Um, but yes, I absolutely love this set that I have made. And yes, this is a keeper for myself and I cannot wait to wear it. It is definitely cold enough to wear it. That's for sure. It's like 30 some degrees outside. Crazy. All right, so 
this time I actually have showed you all all my works in progress and finished projects and so now I actually am going to get to the yarn that I have purchased so stay tuned. Alright so let's look at the new yarn that I have gotten. I'm first going to start off with some Hobby Lobby yarn that I have purchased. Some of it is regular price yarn but as you all know, I love going to the clearance section in Hobby Lobby and finding out what they have. So let me show you. I have bought three skeins of this gorgeousness. This is actually for my stepmom. This is a gift for her. I've already told her about it. And the color is aqua black. It is so beautiful. It kind of has like this dark peacock-ish tone to it. It's super soft, super squishy. Um, it's five ounces, 142 grams, 252 yards, and 230 meters. So you could definitely make a lot out of, out of these. You could probably do a nice infinity scarf with just one of these. But um, yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. Look at those colors so nice it's just mesmerizing but yeah I know she's gonna make something awesome with these three okay so the next yarn that I bought is some that I've been wanting to try for a while and here it is I know color explosion this is some Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby clearance yarn and it is Yarn B Diva Sequin Yarn. So this is really, really pretty. As you can see. I can't wait to make something with that. And it is definitely going to be for myself. I'm thinking of shawl. And then they had, I guess it had unraveled in the store. So they had packed it up like this. Does anybody else's Hobby Lobby pack their loose yarn in little bags? So I ended up with four of these. So that is going to make a lovely shawl. And each is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 180 yards, and 165 meters. And what's cool about this yarn is that it's 84% acrylic. 12% wool and 4% sequin. Gotta love the sequins. Yeah, I can't wait to use this yarn. It is so, so pretty. Now, on to the next. I really, really love Hobby Lobby's Fan Pride yarn, I believe it's called. Yeah, Fan Pride yarn. So I picked up a few skeins of those. And as you all know, I love watching football and this color kind of reminded me of a football team. I am a Carolina Panthers girl myself, but doesn't this kind of look like Green Bay Packers colors? Yeah. But anyway, this color is called Green Gold. Really nice. And all of these skeins have the same amount of yardage, you know, in each one. But yeah, really, really nice. And all of Hobby Lobby's five ounce gains with the um the, the I love this yarn, they're all they all have the same yardage. Of course the seven ounce gains is gonna be a little the seven ounce gains are the solids and then the five ounce ones are the variegated. So yes, this is a five ounce gain. Really nice. And then the next color I bought kind of made me think of um my my local yarn lady she really likes red and red and gray and uh yeah so yeah this is called red and gray really pretty now this isn't a color that i would put together you know myself but i've seen enough projects from other people to know that red and gray goes very very well together and this is some more clearance yarn. As you can see, it was Hobby Lobby's usual $3.99. But it had gotten marked down to $2.39. So I thought that was nice. I got one skein of this. 
And then I was kind of thinking of like, like Dallas Cowboys. And it kind of reminded me of this color. The color is, I have two of these. The color is blue gray. And it's some more of the fan pride yarn. And I got this on clearance as well. I think that's kind of nice. So, let me look around. Yes, so that is all of my Hobby Lobby yarn. And uh, yeah, I really like going in there and looking at their yarn and seeing what they have. Um, I was in there the other day trying to kill some time, you know. And I saw some more yarn that I want to get in the future, but we'll see. Let me let me use some of this stash that I have here, and then you know maybe I'll think about getting some more yarn. All right, so the next bit of yarn I have bought, I am super 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 excited about it because it is from my first Knit Picks order. Um, as many of you know, they had a super awesome Black Friday sale, and so of course. I had to try a lot of the different yarns that I've been wanting to try, but I just, you know, had never gotten around to it. And so let me share with you all my first Knit Picks order. All right. <clears throat> so I wanted to get various sizes just to kind of, you know, try out you know, their different types of yarn. So the first I got was this beautiful green. The name of it is actually, the color name is Jade. It's absolutely beautiful and it is in the knit pick swish worsted so it's a really really nice color green and i got two of these and um it is a hundred percent superwash merino wool 110 yards of worsted weight yarn it's 50 grams and it's a size four it's super soft. You can definitely tell it's merino. Super, super soft and squishy. Trying a different size, I got some more. This is the Knit Picks Swish DK in the color Dusk. I absolutely love these colors. These colors kind of reminded me of my husband because he loves blue. And uh, as you can see, I got two of these. And it is 100% superwash merino wool, 123 yards, 50 grams. It's a DK weight, number three. Squishy, squishy. I cannot wait to try this out. And I also tried the Knit Pick Swish Worsted Bright. And this is in the color Pucker. And I got two of these, and it's 110 yards, 50 grams, worsted weight, number four. Yeah, it's really, really pretty, vibrant pink color. I don't wear a whole lot of pink, but this is really, really nice. All right, and the last thing that I got, um, this yarn I had never heard of before, but I'm so glad I got it. It is the Knit Picks Big O Duchess Heather. <sighs> this yarn might be some of the softest yarn I have ever had in my entire existence. It is so soft. Oh my gosh. It I can't even explain how soft this is. It is 50% superwash merino wool, 50% nylon. Mmm, so nice. It's 110 yards, 100 grams of bulky weight awesomeness, and it is a number, it's a, yeah, it's a size 5 yarn. Oh my god. So soft. Mmm, so soft. It's great. Cannot wait to use it. Okay, so that is all of my Nick picks, and next I'm going to share with you all my latest hand dyed yarn that I have purchased. Okay, so as you all know, I love talking about my local yarn store, Elle's Yarn Stash, and I did a little shopping, of course. She's been having some super awesome sales, 
and I have definitely been taking advantage of those sales. Now I absolutely love Barocco yarn and especially in the vintage and what I have is Barocco vintage. This is the worsted weight size 4 medium worsted and I've been really wanting to make myself a slouchy hat because the one that I have is starting to peel a little bit and so I really wanted to try a better quality of yarn. It is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 8% nylon. So that is Barocco Vintage in this beautiful black color. And they actually don't, yeah, they don't have color names on here, but the color is 5145. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. I'm really excited to use that. Now I'm going to show you all some yarn that I bought from Elle's Yarn Stash. And uh, the owner, Shelly, she runs Oat Knit Yarns. And uh, yeah, so these next games that I'm going to share with you all is yarn that she hand dyed herself. Mmm. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is DK weight yarn. Yeah, I can't believe I tried DK weight yarn. I absolutely love worsted weight, but I saw this and I could not leave it in the store. The name of this yarn is called Put an Umbrella in My Drink. Really pretty. And it is 231 yards, 100 grams of 100% super wash merino. Yeah, the colors just explode. Can't wait to use that. Do I know what I'm going to use it for? No idea. I usually don't know. And in the spirit of trying new things, I actually bought some fingering weight yarn. Y'all know I love worsted and bulky, but the sale was going on. I was really feeling it, so I just went with it. And I have bought my first set of mini skeins. Oh my gosh, these are so cute and so fun to play with. I don't know, maybe that's why I bought them because they're fun to play with. So cute, like I don't even want to take them out of the packaging. But um, the name of this colorway is Jane Doll and these are a sparkle mini set 87 yards per mini skein and they are 75% superwash merino 20% nylon and 5% Stellina sparkles sparkle sparkle Stellina so you can see the various colors in there and I think so these are gonna go well together and usually I wouldn't mix colors like this together but I've been watching Vine Yarns she has a podcast on here um, well the name of the podcast is Yarngasm I suggest you check it out it's a really great um, channel but she owns Vine's Yarn her name is Kristen and she likes to mix colors together colors that I would normally never put together she will put them together and they turn out looking great so when i was at um l's yarn stash and i saw this mini skein set it made me think like these colors could actually work together and as you can see shelly the dyer did a fantastic job and look at that purple sparkle it just has me written all over it so do I know what I'm going to use to make this or what I'm going to make out of it? Not really, but oh well. I just had to have it, right? Now, the next two skeins of yarn, um, they are from Oat Knit Yarn in the, let's see, what, are they, what does she call them? The um, One of a Kind. Yes, they are two of her One of a Kind skeins. Will not be repeated, which makes them extra special because they're One of a Kind. The first one is this beautiful color here. It doesn't have a name, but I mean, it really doesn't need one. 
but this is on her Oscar worsted weight yarn. It's 218 yards of 100% superwash merino, 100 grams. And it is beautiful. And look at those sparkles. What I like about this yarn is that it has little surprises in it. Just little pops of sparkle everywhere. And spark, uh, sparkle and speckles. Yeah, very, very pretty yarn. And the next one, just, I love this. It makes me think of sunshine. Ooh. This is also dyed by Oat Knit Yarn. And there you see the link to her Etsy shop on the label. But just beautiful yarn. Just It's got little pops of orange in there. And it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. This is definitely... I'm thinking of cowl. But it's just... Is that not fantastic? And I am unraveling it. Let's put that back keep that nice and tidy but just beautiful beautiful yarn and while I was in there um, I she also had some cotton yarn that was on sale and I've actually used this yarn before and I'm revisiting it the first one is this yarn here it made me think of my little sister because she loves baby pink but the name of this color is called Carmine it's 100% cotton, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 230 yards, and 210 meters. And it is in the Cotton Supreme DK Weight Sea Spray. And if you check out some of my older videos, I made a scarf um, using this. It was in a purple color, and that was actually crocheted. But it is by Universal Yarn. Beautiful. And of course, I had to get one for myself, so I got this lovely color. I don't know what it is, like I've really been into like turquoise and aqua colors lately. But the name of this color is Bright Honeydew, and it's 100% cotton, and it's got the same amount of yards and grams as the last one. But yeah, these are beautiful. These would even be great together. That looks great. Okay, so the last uh, skein that I bought from my local yarn shop is this beauty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This actually was a skein of yarn that came from her second batch. Um, I guess, you know, they, they were not, it was not a perfect skein. Uh, it didn't come out like the rest of the batch of yarn. I actually think it's absolutely perfect. And as soon as she told me about it, I went and bought it. I just had to have it. It is just gorgeous. And the name of it is Fire Falls. And this is on her Oscar Worsted Weight Base. And it's 218 yards of 100% Superwash Merino. And if you've been watching my videos, you will see that I have other colorways by this dyer that are similar. And I like to kind of call it like her fire family because I will show you all the other colors that she has. Mm, look at that. It all started with Grey Bonfire. That was the first one she did. And of course, I had to buy two skeins of it. Then she came out with Bonfire Hold the Gray. So she did Bonfire and she took out the gray. And then she did Fire Falls. So I like to think of this as her little fire family of yarn. And it's so tempting. So very, very tempting. So. That's all of my yarn that I have bought. I'm looking around to make sure that um, I haven't left anything off. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I've been feeling under the weather lately, so it's nice to, you know, be back on camera. And uh, I had a great time in Florida. I was sick for the first part of it. 
I got better. Then I got sick again when I got back home and I'm still a little, little congested now, but um, it's slowly going away. So hopefully by, you know, Monday or sometime next week, hopefully I'll be feeling 100% again. And uh, yeah, so thank you all for watching my video. And uh, yeah, really, really appreciate all of you. And uh, so I hope that you all have a super, super awesome day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, until next time. Bye.